to support developers. Okay. Uh, so first question is, you've addressed the app conferences, students on campus, and CSC, a, a lot of things for app in the past, but why is it important that the app has conferences like this? Well, Alec, I have to tell you that when I get the opportunity to talk to these young people, these are our frontline warriors because they're out there on the college and university campuses, and if we don't have them, we're not encouraging them, we're not informing them and educating them, they cannot be activated to go up against their peers, the progressive socialist leftists, the administrations, and then also the professors that are out there. And when we look at how the left has taken over academia in the United States of America, if we don't have these uh, these young freedom fighters that are out there, our special forces that are going in and these A-teams that we're deploying, then the, the future of the United States of America is, uh, is in jeopardy. So I love being here. I love being able to go out on the college campuses to embolden them and encourage them. Can you talk about the impact that you've seen conferences like this and appearances on campus have? Well, the impact is that they see individuals that care about them. They see that, you know, people such as myself or others are willing to come in and stand and lock arms with them, and that gives them the courage to go back on the campus. They, they don't feel that they're isolated, they're all alone out there to try to do this fight. So it's important that YAF continues to exist, and YAF continues to have these these programs, YAF continues to sponsor the ability for speakers to go behind enemy lines on these college and university campuses to disrupt and to confuse and to undermine the message of progressive socialism. So Reagan said that YAF was his way of passing on his ideas and values to the next generation. Mm -hmm. You were talking to students about how they give you hope. Can you talk about what it means to you personally mm -hmm. uh, and, and how you know, YAF, our philosophy aligns with you, what it means for you to be here? Well, this is what I fought for, is to make sure, much the same as in track and field, you have the relay race, this is about passing the baton, but the baton is the, uh, the torch of liberty, freedom, and individual uh, rights, and that's what we have to do. And so, you know, I'm, I'm 60, and I'm looking forward to someone that is out there in that audience being the person that will grow up and become a member of Congress, being a state chairman of a Republican Party, being the next conservative iconic leader, being the next governor of a great red state. And they come from these type of conferences and these type of events because we're encouraging them to step up and do that. And they've got to see those examples, being black, white, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter. But they have to see those examples that they can truly grow up, grow up and be the next great American leader. Final question, just to thank you. What would you say to supporters who made this conference possible? You can look into the left there. I just want to say to all of those people that are sponsoring YAF, sponsoring these young people being able to come here, this is the greatest thing that you can do for the United States of America. Truthfully, it is not about what we do ourselves in life. It's about what we pass on to subsequent generations. And that is what you're doing. Because when you are gone, uh, as, as uh, a, brigadier, a former general said to me, the, the most important thing is how did you live your dash? And what do you mean by that? Because on your final resting spot, you got a start date and got an end date. And in between is just a little line called a dash. And that's got to speak volumes about what you did when you were walking on this side of the grass. And hopefully these young people will remember you and remember that dash, remember the opportunity that you gave them to be the next great constitutional conservative leader in the longest running constitutional republic that the world has ever known, these great United States of America. So God bless you and thank you for your sponsorship. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.